mom of four, stepmom of four, I know how to do math very easily. Four plus four <laughs> equals eight. How do you even begin to manage that? Well, to start, the four that are yeah, my Yeah, break step-kids. it down for me. Break yes. it down. They're technically adults. I, okay. I say technically. Okay. But, uh, so they actually are a help okay. in oh, some nice. ways. They come over. They watch the kids. Nice. Um, so it's never been eight in the house all at one time. Okay. Although all of them have been in the house at some point in Together. their childhood. Oh, interesting. So, yes. Okay. And then my Otis is adopted. Mm-hmm. And then I gave birth to three. Okay. So I didn't birth eight babies. Okay. Um, well, that would have been a whole different story. Yes, we would have talked about would vaginas have. and do they yeah. still clothes and, and like, No, it yeah. doesn't. <laughs> For real. Okay. So uh, blended family, right? Mm-hmm. Like that is something that I think that is a lot more, it's a lot more common in my opinion nowadays than it has been in the past, but that might also be because I'm aware of it a lot more mm-hmm. as an adult than I ever was as a kid, per se. Um, you met your husband, knowing he had four kids. Yes. Talk to me about that. The like dating process and then, yeah, so just let you know I have four kids. How does that, <laughs> how does it come about? And then how do you, like, how does, how does, as a dating, how does that work? Well, I was, this was never going to be serious, so it wasn't like we started out with that conversation because it was just for fun. I was just dating for fun. He was uh, not too far out of his marriage, and I had just broken up with someone, so we were just going to have fun. So there wasn't, that That conversation wasn't necessary. Right. Um, But I knew he had kids, but I was young, so that... It didn't even register, really. Right. And then I think I didn't really meet them until a year into our relationship. Oh, wow. Okay, so So, it was a nice amount of time. Yeah, and then they came to visit us, and the youngest one gave me some trouble, but the other ones kind of just jumped right in there. I mean, it it felt like it was easy just kind of like going right into it. It never felt challenging. It, there was cha- there were challenges over yeah. the years, of course. I mean, when you're bringing someone new into the mix, right. the, the kids are going to test you out and see. Okay. Okay. Tell me one test. One test. It, the toughest one was the youngest one, and she was it's always, always the youngest like, one. yeah. <laughs> she was always just saying. She always had something smart to say to me, and then she'd give me the side eye to see how I was going to respond. But I quickly learned yeah. if I was just sarcastic back, then. We got each other's you bite banter. With bite. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Bite with bite. I like that. But the, they were they were just easy. I was yeah. so lucky. They yeah. were really easy, really accepting of me. And I have to say that's probably because of their mother. Yeah, she was very open and accepting of me. And I can't even imagine how hard that must have been. For okay, her. so do you do you feel like you've experienced any of that baby mama drama? No, actually, his ex wife is part of our system too. See? She helps out. Talk she, on it, girl. I, she was a stay-at-home mom. So and now that her kids are older, and mm-hmm. she she really gets yeah. the situation that I'm in because yeah. my husband travels a lot too. Mm-hmm. She will jump in and help me out. And yeah, so, hold on, let me back this up a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> Having like you know Will and Jada moment right yeah, now. Like, <laughs> um, so wait a minute. So she helps out with your kids. Yes, a ton. Like, I would not have survived this past year without her. So she's part of your village. Yes, very much so. Like, she cooks for my children. When I went out of the country to be with my husband, she stayed with my kids. Yeah. Wow. I know. <laughs> it's a little weird. People look no. at me like, what? The thing is, it's crazy is that it sounds foreign, right? Like, it yeah. sounds different when you say it. But I think it's so cool because... You're the definition of really making it work. Like, that's amazing. Yeah. It's, What's the biggest tip on that? Like, what is what is the biggest thing you say that, look, this is what we do, and I think this is why? Is it communication? Is it acceptance? It is. Like, just what? what's the biggest thing? We've both addressed the situation as adults mm-hmm. with the kids at the center. Mm-hmm. Um, she gave me a lot of space to be the step parent to her children. Mm. And so I was able to step in a lot for her. Like years ago, she went on like a two week trip to Italy and we took care of all the kids stuff driving around and she just gets it. Wow. And so she knows my perspective. She knows my husband, which is weird. <laughs> 
<laughs> she knows what it's like to have a husband that's out of town for a yeah. month at a time. She gets it. Yeah, and so she just wants to help, and it's amazing. Wow. I mean, listen, I look, you can't pay for that service. No, that's you like can't. that's better than than you, you get you understand my frustration with my husband and you have four kids yourself. Yeah. And we have a lot in common. So yeah. clearly my husband has the same taste in women. <laughs> so we're both like food lovers. We both like natural products. So wow. we are we like gabbing. <laughs> my husband is like, uh, okay, yeah, this I didn't. Too for yeah, it's too much. Too much for coming. Pause. Stop right now. Especially when we both get on him yeah. about his behavior. He's like, I, really? Yeah, for real. <laughs> no. Exactly. Now, I can see how that could be a little, that would catch me off guard too. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> All right, I, you, okay, and you, okay. <laughs> Next time on Moms with Coffee. Yeah. How do you still love your body, even though it's changed so much, post kids? It is a daily work in progress. Mm. I can't even pretend like I love all of this. Yes. Yeah. I don't right now, just yeah. to be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's new stretch marks, there's saggier skin, mm -hmm. one boob is bigger than the other. More of this on Moms with Coffee. Check it out at blacklove.com.